How's it going everyone? Travis95HD here. Welcome to another episode of my trading to 100k series. As you see I have a bronze player on my trade pile and the reason for that is for the daily gifts as this footage is pretty old. We had daily gifts still and um, that happened to be one of my daily gifts. I think he sells eventually but on the screen you can see um, our players have sold from the previous episodes. I picked up a bunch of Santa Gazolas. This is when he was in form and when uh, a player, a good player tends to have an inform, the price of the normal card always goes up. And for that reason, I went out and bought some Santa Cazolas, picked them up for like 6k, sold them on for about 7,900. So nice, easy uh, 1,500 coins on each Santa Cazola that I do end up picking up. I got a Gary Gardner and a 41212, picked them up for 21,500 coins and should be some under like the 27, 28,000 coin range. So, um, 5k profit massive profit on silver still um silvers when uh before the market crashed you could pretty much make almost you you could trade exclusively silvers and make so much money and that's exactly what i do actually and you know in the last episode i made a killing on silvers this episode definitely making a ton of money on silver still and um anytime you can make 1k on a small transaction like I've been doing with the silvers, it's always good trading. When we come back, um, there's only one Santa Cazol in the trade pile, and accident because I accidentally um, deleted one off the trade pile. But I went out and decided to pick up some Tom Cleverleys, the the in form from Manchester United. I uh, set at a CDM. His his uh, in form is. I picked up uh, two center mid in forms. One of them I won't be able to sell for that much. The other one. The, the first one I won't be able to make that much profit on, maybe a thousand coins if I'm lucky, but the second one was in the 442, so definitely a more popular formation. Should be able to sell them on for a lot more, not a lot more, but be able to make more coins on them when you have a desirable formation like that. I picked up a Cotes and a 433, another des de desirable formation or expensive formation card. Should be able to sell them that Cotes for more. I've picked up a couple of Cotes, or I don't even know how to say his name. I keep saying it, but if I don't know how to say it, I, uh, I apologize in advance, but we're still working on the silvers. Always the reliable method to go back to. Shelby has been a good player to trade with, along with Gary Gardner. I've obviously um, traded with a bunch of them, and if you're going to make coins on them, you might as well keep using them, you know. If you find you're a, a, a player that you can consistently buy, it's always a good idea to keep on picking them up. These Gary Gardners, I'm always making at least a 1,000 coins on them every single time. This Gary Gardner center mid 4-3-3, once again, desirable formation. Accidentally overpaid for him because he was in a 4-3-3. But um, at the end of the day, well, I, I was still end up making only a couple hundred coins back. But you live and learn. I ended up uh, paying a little bit too much, but um, it is what it is, you know. And when we come back, we picked up... Um, well, actually, first of all, everyone has indeed sold. And we picked up a Tony Cruz. And as you see, he's on the trade pile. I was trying to sell him for 54,000 coins, and I don't think I'll be able to sell him. I, uh, you'll, you'll actually see if I sell him or not, but if we sell everyone we have in our trade pile right now, we should be up to that magical 100K. I'm not quite sure. We don't find out, but this Wayne Rutledge was a gamble, an absolute gamble to buy him because his average price on the database, I think, was only around like 4,000 coins, and at that time... The only ones that were out there, right mids, were up in the 20,000 coin range. And for the right wings, they were all up in the 15 to 14, you know, the really, really expensive. Someone was trying to price fix them. And uh, for me, when someone's trying to price fix them and you pick them up for cheap, you just try to sell them on as quickly as possible. Try to get liquid coins back out of that player. And by that, I mean don't be too greedy. If you see are going for around 14K, as you see, I picked them up for 6,200 and should be able to sell them on 8,900 to 9,900, that is still like 3,000 coins profit. I could have listed him for like, um, you know, like the the 12,000 coins, which would be a, getting really greedy, but I didn't feel like it. I wanted to sell him really quickly. And the same with this Tony Cruz. I listed him a bunch of times and he just didn't seem to be selling. So what I went out and did, I accidentally bought, or actually bought a, a cam to center mid. Place him on that. Hopefully he sells. Another Federici to run this off. So if everyone sells, we, uh, we're we looking to be around 100k, but that's very, very good. And um, coming into an end. But uh, that's it for me, Travis95HD. And as always, I will see you next time.